What's going on everyone? This is Vangelis2019 back in Star Wars Squadrons. Mission 6. Let's just dive straight in. Looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. Hey, little fella. Linden, my contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Linda, what have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. Mm, that sounds ominous. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard. I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset. And then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Alrighty. Find the base, blow up all the sticky outy bits. <clears throat> mm. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Foster Haven. She was my protege. 
but she's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. Oh, some subterfuge going on there. I have to say, the commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. He looked like he was waiting to be spoken to. talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Hell yes. Alright, let's do it. I don't need to talk to her. Right up, let's go. Y wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets <coughs> and capital ships. Get out of free luck. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? <laughs> you sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. <laughs> what could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us, but it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. 
I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Press L3 to drop a bomb. Oh, I've got bombs as well. Okay. I oh, did realize I had bombs as well. destroyed her. Assembly of four dishes on it. Nice work. Imps won't be calling any reinforcements today. Only one receiver left. Let's finish them off. Out of ammo, damn it. You really let him have it. Receivers are done for. Jesus Christ. I'm with you. Regroup with me at the edge of the listening post. On my way. system 
Bombs are located in the trench circling the edge of the station. Flying into the trench? Give them hell. Ooh. Proton bombs are excellent weapons against hardened targets like these thermal regulators. Bombs are fired straight down from your starfighter, so you must orientate yourself over the target. Roll so that the thermal regulators are below you, then drop your bombs. Ha! Huh. So much for the bombs in The Last Jedi, not going the right way. Next target, please. Here I am. You would have died in real life. Well, <laughs> oh my god, I'm a terrible pilot. Right, next target, please. Uh, objectives, that's right. Cycle objectives. Whoa. Oh, um, how do I? Ah, damn it! How do I call for? How do I call for thingy bobs again? Mm. Request supply. You're in the clear. All right, that's how you do. There you go. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Right above me now, won't it? <clears throat> Whoopsie! That's a hit. Oof! All right, I'll try again. Blast that trench, five. I'm trying. Don't know how to get in there. There it is. Oh my goodness. Grief. I see him right behind us. If you run low on explosives, Gunny can restock you. Last one. Geez, I'm just bouncing off everything. Why are these not blowing up yet? Thank you. I'm in formation. Fine. Hit the trench again. I see him. Right behind us. Corvette is taking heavy fire. 
defend the Corvette. Okay. Now we're cooking. Okay. Yeah, we'll see all enemies. Fighters. <clears throat> right, maybe I can. No, oh, just has all enemies. Okay. Objectives. Thermal system destroyed. Temperatures are rising. Oh, this isn't going to go wrong, is it? Vanguard. 
Guard Squadron. Our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, please subscribe, and I will say ciao for now. See you later. Poor